Color names are values that represent a color, examples includes turquoise, green, tomato, light salmon, and others. These names can be used instead of hex and RGB color values. Color names are the easiest to understand or recall as long you know their names, but very limited since it doesn't talk much on the shades of colors. In this instance, let us create a HTML and connect it to the CSS. For this example, I've set h1 to have a color property on the text and background. Save the file into the same folder, then make sure to create a link on the HTML so that it can call the CSS property that you've set. For this file, the name is style.css and it must be declared on top of the HTML file using the link tag. We change the color of the h1 to green and the background to blue. Now we can copy the same property on the paragraph using p tag. Then we will copy a color on htmlcolorcodes.com for a specific name of a certain color. If you notice, CSS does not accept spaces between color names. So it must be in one word, such as the color pink. Refresh the page. Then we go back and change the color to cornflower blue color. Always remember to refresh the page for every change. Then let's fix some of the color values. We can add multiple tags such as the button tag, but the CSS properties are somewhat different in some areas. So, make sure to check on the CSS properties per tag that you used on your project. Visit developer.mozilla.org for more CSS properties. For this example, the button tag has a different property in changing the background, such as background color that needs to be set. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my